To begin publishing on websites like YouTube, your nonprofit needs to purchase a basic camcorder and a few essential accessories. Before we continue, we should mention that we publish a PDF containing the most up-to-date recommendations for purchasing your video camera and accessories. It's essentially a shopping list for what you'll need to buy to get started and has links to purchase the items on Amazon.com. The link to download the PDF is listed on our website below this video. With that said, let's talk cameras. There's a lot of good cameras out there in the shoot and share category, but the one that stands out thus far has been the Flip Ultra HD. Unfortunately, the company that owns Flip Video has decided to stop making it. This decision comes not because Flip is a bad camera, but because they wanted to focus their business on their core market segments. And since they couldn't sell off the Flip Video company, they just decided to shut it down. A moment of silence for our beloved friend, the Flip. So without the obvious front runner, the camera that you select is really up to you. Here's some things to keep in mind, though, when making your decision. Let's start with video quality. High definition versus standard definition. This one is easy. Go for high definition. It's quickly becoming the baseline, so if you're just starting out, you might as well start out with the technology that's here to stay. And at this point, the cost difference between high definition and standard definition is nominal, so it just doesn't make sense to pick standard definition anymore. When it comes to batteries, we love that the Flip HD took AA's as well as their rechargeable battery pack. This enabled you to pick up some extra AA batteries to use in a pinch should your rechargeables run out of juice. However, this is definitely not the norm as most cameras use some sort of rechargeable lithium ion battery. In this case, you'll definitely want to pick up an extra battery because there's nothing worse than being at an event filming and running out of power with no plan B. Get a plan B. When it comes to memory, there are cameras that store their videos on hard drives, and those that use solid state memory cards. Avoid cameras with internal hard drives because generally speaking, the manufacturers require you to use their own proprietary software to get the footage off of the camera and onto your PC. Most of the time, this software isn't very good, which can make it an absolute pain to get the videos off your camera. With memory cards, you're gonna find that some cameras allow you to remove the memory card and thus make it easy to expand, and others that are internal that you therefore can't expand. Honestly, it doesn't really matter which way you go. Yeah, having external memory cards means that you can easily upgrade your camera's memory in the future, but remember, we're helping you produce two to three minute videos at Let's Dabble, so there's no need to have six memory cards so that you can shoot for hours and hours and hours. You'll just overshoot and you'll never make any videos because no one wants to review six hours of footage. Trust me. Microphones. Some cameras offer the ability to plug in an external microphone. While not required, this can definitely boost the quality of your final video, so it's definitely a nice feature to have. And finally, the file format that the camera records in is worth noting. You'll want to look for a camera that shoots in MP4 because it's a format that plays nicely with both PCs and Macs. AVI is a format that's PC friendly, and MOV is a format that's Mac friendly. Since video production is a collaborative process, it's easier to go with a format that everyone can view without having to mess around with conversions or plugins. So MP4 is the way to go. Aside from an extra battery, we definitely recommend picking up a tripod. Our hands down recommendation is a Gorillapod because it's incredibly versatile and will soon be your new best friend. Unlike regular tripods, it can attach to just about anything. This comes in very handy when you need to keep the camera steady or you need to film yourself and there's no one around to hold the camera. Do not get the cheap knockoff because it will break very, very easily. Get the real thing. And that's it. With a camera, an extra battery, and a gorilla pod, your organization is now ready to crank out some web videos at an incredibly attractive price. Video production at around $200? That's ridiculous. If you asked us for our current recommendation for a video camera, we'd point you to the Samsung HMX300. It shoots full HD video, handles low-light situations quite well, has a wide-angled lens, image stabilization, and to top it off, it's waterproof and shockproof. But there are two drawbacks to using this camera. The first is that it does not come with a memory card but that's not really a big deal as they're around 10 to 15 bucks for a good eight gigabyte card. The second and more crucial is that the rechargeable battery is not removable. This stinks because in a pinch, 
you can't just pop in a spare battery. Now, you really shouldn't be shooting more than two hours of footage, which is what a normal battery will get you. But it's still not ideal. To sidestep this dilemma, we recommend getting a Duracell Instant USB Charger, so you can plug your camera into it when you need more juice, or to charge your camera when you're just not using it. But because this is technology we're talking about here, things are always changing. So for our most up-to-date recommendations, check out the PDF posted below this video. It's your cheat sheet to get started. In the next section, we'll walk you through the software you'll need to install on your computer so that you can start cranking out some awesome web videos.